Good morning, everybody. It's David Wildstein at the New Jersey Globe. I'm speaking to Rob Menendez, the Democratic candidate for Congress in New Jersey's 8th District, the only open seat in the state. Uh, Rob, what, Rob, how's everything going this morning? What are you What are you up to? Uh, first, thanks for having us. Um, happy Election Day to, to everyone in New Jersey and across the country. Um, we vote early with uh, with my family, my wife, and two kids. Um, since then, we've been going to different polling places and uh, checking in on folks and seeing how everyone's doing and um, encouraging people to get out and vote. Uh, that's what today is all about. So that's what we've been communicating to people, and we're going to do so throughout the entire day. You've been having election days most of your life, but this is this is the first general election that it's your name on the ballot. It's uh, uh, I talked a little about this earlier today with Bob Healy, who's who's running in his first election. Uh, this whatever rituals, because I know we're all superstitious in politics. Uh, you, you get that the rituals that you do today may carry with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I am a little bit of a superstitious person, but um, listen, we've been fortunate to have incredible support throughout this campaign and we've worked hard at it each, each and every day um, from the primary to the general, we're going to continue to work hard. Uh, I'll share with you that, that last night uh, we carried on a tradition that started with a, uh, Congressman Guarini uh, went to the Sicilian club in Bayonne, uh, maybe brought some cigars and played some bocce ball. So it was a good way to cap off a long, uh, long, hard campaign. We've been out there every day for 11 months. And um, that's a tradition that I think may stick. So I, I you know, I, I, I don't do predictions easily, as, as you know, uh, you know, but you're you're you you've run a, a a good campaign. It's a it's a good district. You you got through that the primary, which in Hudson is a big deal. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's I think it's looking pretty good for you. So I'll tell you, and I know you I know you anticipated me saying this, but what I'm going to be watching for tonight is whether you can top the 64 percent of the vote that the Democratic nominee in your district got in 1992 against Fred Thiemling. Do you think that's possible? Can you? Can you hit the sixty-four percent? Listen, we're we're focused as we have been on day from day one on just getting our message out and connecting with voters. Um, we've worked hard at this. We worked really hard. Uh, we put a lot into this. We haven't taken anything for granted. Uh, we haven't taken one single vote for granted. I even checked in on my wife, my sister, my brother-in-law, checking in on everybody. Um, we're not taking anything for granted. We're going to do our best job to deliver a resounding victory tonight, so we can get to work tomorrow. Uh, for the people in the 8th Congressional District, because that's that's all that matters. So what else are you watching today? Besides besides your own race, what what are the things that you're checking most frequently? What are the things that that you're going to care most about this evening? Yeah, so listen, we're we've been supportive of candidates and incumbents who are in, in tough districts across the country. Um, we did a commitment to the D trip. Um, we have forged a lot of relationships with really great folks who are running around the country and we're going to be constantly checking in on them, making sure that where we can, we uh, we get their messages out because to really deliver for people in the 8th Congressional District and the people of New Jersey, we need a Democratic majority. Um, that's what matters. So we're focused on what we have to do here in the 8th. We're not taking anything for granted, but where we can be, we're going to be helpful to folks across the state, uh, folks across the country, and ensuring that we return a Democratic majority both in the House and in the Senate. So what's at stake tonight? What's at stake for for you and for your family? And what do you think is at, it's at stake for America right now? Yeah, so for me, it's it's what's at stake for our country, uh, the future of our country. And there's so much on the line. I think the Democrats in the last two years have delivered on a lot uh, at the beginning of the term, um, you know, ensuring that businesses stayed open, people stayed in their homes, um, while also making a long term investment in our infrastructure. Um, in our move towards a greener economy. So Democrats in a really tough environment with really slim margins have delivered. Um, with that being said, you know, when you're out here campaigning and talking to folks, there's a lot of work left to do. Um, the work is by no means done. People are still struggling. and We need to continue to meet their challenges and create solutions for them. And in my opinion, Democrats offer the best product in this moment. And from what I've seen, um, if Republicans win, I don't see them providing solutions for working families here in New Jersey. So that's what's at stake. And that's why we're working our tails off here. We're working our tails off across the state. 
I do whatever we can to ensure a Democratic majority because I do believe for the next two years, that's the best way to produce results for the American people. So that's what's at stake today. Um, a lot's on the line, but I do believe that we can meet this moment together. We just need to believe in each other and believe in what's uh, at stake and what we can do if we unite together. Yeah, and that's I mean, and and I, I should close by by giving props whether you, whether people have agreed with his voting record or not over the years. Uh, Albio Sirius's sixteen years of service as the congressman from your district has has been, uh, you know, you know, one one of of, of tremendous in, integrity and and uh, an intense advocate for his constituents. So so you have uh, you have big shoes to fill if you're if you're fortunate enough to 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 be elected this evening. For sure. And listen, you're going to see a lot of Albio's work continue on uh, the money that he's brought back to the district from the uh, Bipartisan Infrastructure Act. Um, you know, people will start to feel that very soon and over the next couple of years. Um, so I am so thankful for his service to the district for the last 16 years, his, his service to this state um, and his time in the assembly before that, his service to West New York um, before that. So he's been an incredible public servant. He's been a model and um, yeah, big, literally, I mean, he's a He's a you know big basketball player, so big shoes to fill. Uh, yeah. But I'm excited to get to work. I'm excited to to work with him so I can hit the ground running and do the best job possible for the folks in the 8th Congressional District. Thanks. Well, Rob Menendez, uh, thank you for talking to me. Good luck tonight. Uh, you know, I, I can say this is this is the shortest conversation you and I have ever had. So, so <laughs> well, listen, David, it's always a pleasure up, connecting with you. That'd be our ritual. Did all that you do, and I uh, look forward to talking again soon for a Thanks. longer period of time. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a no, good day. Well. Take care. Bye.